He learned his poetry through the most unusual of circumstances. A rebel in the 1950s Philippines was captured, and his father asked the authorities to allow the rebel to work on their farm. That rebel, armed with a typewriter instead of a gun, was the first formal teacher of Philippine national artist for literature, Virgilio Almario. But his father wanted him to become a lawyer, not a poet or a writer. So his poetry and writing were relegated to the sidelines in school, where his only chance to write was for the school newspaper. It wasn't until fourth year college when he won an essay competition that Virgilio Almario came to be known by his popular pen name, Rio Alma. Rio Alma is a play with the spelling of his real name, Almario. His passion for writing drove him to get together with other writers and to teach themselves how to write, as there was a dearth of good teachers then. Yung nabasa ko maganda, aba nagiinom ang kami kwento na bakit maganda. So workshop kami sa amin sarili para mapaulad yung amin. Amin ginagawa. Uh, yun talaga ko ang Kasi napakahirap mo ang panong. Uh, pagka kami nakakaharap ng mga English writers, pinagtatawa lang kami. Kasi ang tingin nung araw, nung 1960s, ng mga English writers sa kanilang sarili, silang dakila eh. Yung mga Filipino writers pakiya. So napakahirap na patunayan mong hindi ka pakiya. Kasi hindi ka rin ang namurunong sa literature. Na. Kaya kailangan... Uh, yung aming muna encounter, gano'n talaga busita-busita ko para hiya, makakulit ko mga English writers. Nakapulot lang ng makakong tatlong libro yan. Eh. Tayo isa pa lang, hindi eh. mga ganyan. <laughs> kaya, kaya mas mataas ang lipad kaysa sa atin. Pero yun nga, yung gano'n kong feeling, sama ng love ko. Sama ng love ko dahil yung mga old writers, hindi ko mo maturuan. And Almario carries that lesson to this day. He says no one today can be a good writer without going through the basics. No one can be a good writer without being a reader. He won the Palanca Award, the highest award for literary writing, several times. He was elected as chairman of the National Commission on Culture and the Arts. He served as the chairman of the National Commission that was in charge of the national language. And he was given the award as national artist in 2003. Unang-una kasi sa pag-workshop ko, tinuturo kong unang lesson, magbasa eh. Ganun yun eh. Ang aking kasing uh, laging sinasabi, hindi ka na pwede ngayon maging manunulat nang hindi ka nagbabasa. Hindi na pwede tagabundo ka tapos magiging dakila ka. Kasi napaka-komplikado na ng literatura na kailangan alam mo kung ano ang mga nangyayari. Kasi kung hindi mo alam, baka ang ginagawa mo, ginawa na pala nung iba, nung unang palawang pa. Kaya kailangan knowledgeable ka sa literature. At yung aming mga workshop na ginagawa, ang uh, unang-unang ibinibigay ay mga lessons on the history of literature. Almario also feels very strongly about the Filipino language. He says colonization has taken its toll on our language and our culture. Masyado kasing napal, lalo sa kaso ng Pilipinas, napakatagal na binugbog ang, ang consciousness ng mga Pilipino sa Western Western culture and Western languages. You know? So, Espanyol, pagkaraan English, yun lang pangyayari ng may dalawang dominant languages and cultures na isiniksik sa utak ng mga Filipino ay napakalaking, na, napakalaking problema na. Kaya yung palagay ko ang dahilan kung bakit nung magkaroon ng Constitutional Convention noong 1935, alam niya yung Constitutional Convention na yun, ang mga delegates, ang, required, ang qualification kailangan either educated in Spanish or in English. Kasi ang language na, ng conventional, pwede ka lang magsalita ng English or Spanish. Kaya inaasahan na pag nag-usap sila tungkol sa national language, ang iboboto nila 
English or Spanish. Virgilio Almario wrote what is considered to be the first book on literary criticism in the Philippines. He continuously campaigns against bastardized English and Spanish words that find their way into the everyday language of the Filipino. He has translated great literary works in the Philippines, chief of which is Noli Metanghere, written in Spanish by Philippine national hero Jose Rizal. <laughs> 